president and the executive branch, don't forget to go back and write a caption for uh, your Dick Cheney picture. Qualifications and leadership, see how much we can learn. The Classroom Project, uh, we will take out an index card and write the word veto on it. These cards can be redeemed at any time to prevent one classroom activity. Let's see how little gets done this month. enforce the laws because that's what executive branches do. Commander-in-chief of the world's only superpower, that is not counting the Chinese because at this point no one can count the Chinese. Federal departments, courts, those are appointed. Now we know the Senate will do the approving. Okay, um, have to be a natural born citizen because imagine our embarrassment if King George III got on the ballot and won. Two, at least 35 years old, because life expectancy at that time was 41.3 years, so we're looking at seven years of tyranny, tops. And then you have to be a resident of the United States for 14 years, because 15 years is way too long, and 13 years, come on, please. Did you know that if the president was the longest recorded flight by a chicken, he would be 13 seconds? We do moderates. Uh, George W. and Obama were both fairly moderate, regardless of what people like to say about either one of them. The spectrum moves, so what is liberal at one time becomes conservative and vice versa. Yeah, I'll bet that one. Uh, deism. Yeah, asked if you don't remember. So there are limits that you can spend to receive matching funds, therefore nobody takes matching funds. Hey, did you know that the average president's first term he spends 1,241 days figuring out how to get a second term? Yeah, we don't do compromise anymore. Um, unless you've got split government. Bill Clinton, even though he was a Democrat, it was a Republican-dominated House and Senate. Therefore, he was able to pass the largest percentage of Republican platform than any modern president. And thanks for playing. <laughs>